as I said before. The Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, held a discussion with a team of leaders of civil society organizations on how Parliament of Uganda can work with a civil society organization to address the needs of the everyday Ugandan. And yeah, this is just a you know, uh, kind of work that we did the Citizens Compact uh, on free and fair elections, and, you know, saying that in relation to that we had with Parliament for years. So it's our pleasure to have this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. The speaker says the August House is pro people and is privileged to carry on a renewed stakeholder engagement with the civil society. And we don't take it for granted. We know you contribute. Mm -hmm and we need to coexist. And especially when the non-state actors are non-partisan, we believe they will give us the best information that we need. Today's meeting gives us an opportunity to renew our age-long tradition of stakeholder engagement. She says parliament will always be open to sharing ideas with all groups working towards a better Uganda. Parliament of Uganda has prioritized evidence-based debate in the House. And your coming into play is a very important thing because we will be able to get very reliable information, especially from your survey on ground and when we are passing bills in the House. We know the NGO Forum will be able to give us very reliable information. The executive director of the NGO Forum, Moses Isoba, insists that the civil society proposes a nationwide consultative process to generate national consensus on key governance reforms. The call comes on the backdrop of the strong civil society organization's demands on government accountability on the utilization of taxpayers' money. The NGO Forum and the Speaker of Parliament underscored the need to create a meaningful engagement and ask government to strengthen collaborations with all parties for the good of the country. 